Well, this is Wellness Wednesday, and Susan Samico, a certified business and life coach, is here to talk about retirees and the job market. And she wants to shoot down some of those common myths that are out there. And the first one, mature workers are less productive. Is this true? No, they're actually very productive, and they make wonderful employees um, because they're dependable, they're reliable, they have experience. The chance of them going to switch to another job is rare. They're usually there to stay. They're loyal. So it's, it's mm -hmm. actually, um, you have lower absenteeism, which yeah. is, you know, that could be very costly to an employer. So that's a big advantage. Yeah, because that was my next question. You hear often people making, you know, snide comments that hiring a mature worker or right. a retiree even um, brings no benefits right. to an employer. Right, and, and, and it is, it's a myth. The fact is, is that mature workers bring a lot of um, dependability, and they're they're wonderful because they have a commitment to quality. Um, they're great with customer service skills. Okay. And the maturity that comes with that. What about the saying that age doesn't matter, and that the employer isn't concerned about age or isn't concerned about it at all? Right. Although employers don't voice that, we all know that you know that they're thinking it inside. Mm -hmm. So I think uh, a mature worker, if they can show um, just uh, measurable results mm -hmm. and tangible contributions, that'll shift the, the conversation away from age because they'll show that they're valuable workers. As someone who's out there that is thinking about, who's gone into retirement, mm -hmm. but who's thinking about coming back to work, mm -hmm. um, we know that experience is one of the perks mm -hmm. that someone who's been mm -hmm. in the workforce for a long time yeah. is, brings to the table. Yeah. So do they really have to prove themselves again? Is that a mindset that they shouldn't go in there thinking, you know, I, I need to prove myself? Yeah, well I, well, I think they bring a great amount of experience to mm -hmm. the table, uh, which is, I think, really valuable. Uh, so they, they actually end up benefiting the office. Um, they bring up team morale which is important. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that we talked about a little earlier is that you shouldn't just stick to one genre. You shouldn't just stick to right. what you know. Right. Why is it so important right because now? Because it slims your chances to be too targeted in on the market that you might have been in. It, it's just too narrow. So if you want to improve your chances of finding something, use your strengths and your, and your skills because they're transferable and they can go to a, a lot of different vocations. And we're watching how social media is becoming really big. Right. And we're also watching how the trends really aren't being followed by those who are, say, in the retirement ages. Right. How important is it to get network savvy, to get technically savvy, to move on with the digital age as it continues Extremely. to grow? Yeah, I think one of the most important things that anybody can do is to network build the relationships, um, practice your interviewing skills. Interviewing today is very different than it was a few years ago. Uh -huh. So it's, it's really important to build those relationships, practice, make sure you're current on your terminology. Great, wonderful advice, Susan Samico. Thank you for joining us, and thank you for joining us too. Have a great day, everyone.